anybody that's ever served in the military in any shape, form, or capacity, whether it be Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, today I got a message for you. Let's talk about it. the God Ministries. Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Praises to the Most High Yah. Man, today's message is I want you to be watchful. I want you to pick up on where there is a lack of sacrifice, but people want to be blessed. People want the resources and they want the benefits. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you that I know for a fact serving the army is not the most glamorous thing, but it is a career. In saying this, the army or the military has a structure to where you don't have to worry about some of the things that go on in the world and other people are affected by because there are systems in place. And in doing this by no means, shape, form or fashion has 15 years in the army been easy. But you will realize when it comes to people that know about the benefits, know about the resources, but know nothing about the sacrifice, you'll find out that they love the benefits. They love being dependent. They love using that military discount, that tax-free discount, that health care. And you will realize in some of these people you know, they make fun of what you do. They judge what you do, but they do it while you're giving them something. You, They do it while using your benefits. And this is where I said, I want you to be watchful because you're gonna see certain spirits in people that do this and chances are they're lazy. Chances are they're full of head knowledge. Chances are they know nothing about sacrificing outside of air conditioned type environments. I want you to be mindful of this so you can distribute the resources amongst people that actually show reverence, show appreciation, show honor for the sacrifice that you have done. It's the same thing as if you are out here sacrificing for your kids and you give them something and they speak up and say, well, this ain't the best of the best. You know, it's, you know, what you do for work is lame. I would never do that. But wait a minute, what makes you so good that you can take what I have to offer and yet you can't fend for yourself? Pay attention to this. Be mindful of this. You see what I'm saying? Discerning spirits will pick up on this. And you'll realize that the benefits, the resources behind your sacrifice is the only thing that they see, but really these people need a change of heart. They need a transformation of their spirit because they have some things lingering around in them that are causing them to make sacrifices of their own. They hide behind head knowledge, accolades that really don't take any sweat equity. You see what I'm saying? For people out there that served in the military, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the spouses that haven't served in the military that are raising young men and will tell their young their sons in a heartbeat, you don't need to join the military. But wait a minute, the way my father has provided was through the military. See, sometimes I tell people, you know, hey, you might wanna, you might wanna just keep your mouth shut. That's one of the hardest things to tame is the tongue. While you are receiving these benefits, you see what I'm saying? while you are receiving these blessings based upon the sacrifices of somebody else. And sometimes these sacrifices come from generations before you. But like I said, man, we're living in a time where people don't show reverence to their elders. They don't 
show reverence to the people that have sacrificed before them. And you will start to see this as you're being watchful. I just wanted to, I just wanted to tune you in on it. You see what I'm saying? This is the same spirit of people that can take all of the blessings from God and they think it was their doing because they were blessed. They don't give God any of the glory for it. They don't even give God their just due. If anything, they doubt, use his name in vain. But this is the spirit that I want you to pick up on and be watchful for because this spirit is out there. You have women out there using men for their benefits. There was a movie on Netflix about it. Movie on Netflix, BAH Fraud. Also, women serving in the military. Women serving in the military. You got some lazy brothers out there that don't wanna do nothing but ride off your benefits. You need to be watchful. You got one of these jokers where you didn't marry him and he didn't promise you all this and you've been in the military three, four years and he just can't find no work. Chances are he's looking for a comfortable type work. Chances are he's not really willing to get out there and put in any sweat equity. But I guarantee you he's using these medical benefits, using your military discount, all of this, all of this different type of stuff. It's a spirit of laziness and pride that comes behind anybody that, that that is not reverencing your sacrifice and showing honor in the basic format. You see what I'm saying? Shouldn't look for anybody to praise you, but just give honor. Just give honor. You can't be using what somebody else has provided and then bad talking it. You don't have a car of your own, borrowing somebody else's car, talking about, ooh, this car raggedy. Wait a minute. You see what I'm saying? You wasn't raised right. Who raised you? This is where a lot of people struggle in not worshiping money. They reverence money. They show honor to money. But when it comes to reverencing and showing honor to the most high Yah who provides you the ability, the health to be able to go out in the world and achieve these things, don't want a part of that. You definitely have to be watchful out here because you will be taken advantage of if you don't have that discerning spirit. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.